Spokane's mayor says he won't be stepping down after a new report accused the Condon administration of a cover-up. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Nadine Woodward. Well, today the mayor appeared on Good Morning Northwest and told KXY4's Robin Nance that he will not be heeding calls to resign. Our Jeff Humphrey working for you tonight. He's at the Spokane County Elections Office where an effort to recall the mayor could get its start. Jeff? Nadine, 25% of the people who voted in our last May oral election would have to sign a petition in order for this recall effort to go forward. However, because Mayor Condon is also a city official, Spokane's Ethics Commission could also initiate a recall. We have had a setback, um, but at the core of this is the report identified some mistakes, identified uh, steps that we need to take uh, going forward, and we're already starting on those now. Okay. Mayor David Condon remains steadfast. He personally did nothing wrong during the investigation into former police chief Frank Straub, and that while the report turned up other bad actors, Condon remains fit to leave Spokane. Char Lichty, who ran against Condon in the November election, disagrees. You know, true leaders... They own their mistakes. They apologize and they try to repair the damage. They don't continue to cover up, deny, and throw other people under the bus. Lichty says the cover-up involving Chief Straub's bad behavior and withholding public documents until after the election was over robbed voters of making an informed decision last November. Spokane's Peace and Justice Action League says the deception is grounds for removing Condon from office. What we can see is that manipulating the election is grounds for resignation or recall on, of part of the mayor. It's a violation of the city code and state law. And whether or not Mayor Conan broke city code will come up again next month when he appears before the city's ethics commission. That group can also ask the city council to put Conan's name on a recall ballot. The, the trust um, with our um, citizens is, is forefront of my mind. And we have to uh, build that trust, maintain that trust. Is this a setback? Absolutely. And I, and I apologize for that. Nadine, that Ethics Commission hearing that involves Mayor Condon testifying under oath is now scheduled to get underway in August. Meanwhile, the release of this report has not scared away the two finalists vying for the police department's chief's position. Both men said today they are still willing and able to lead the police department given the opportunity. Reporting live in Spokane, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4. All right, I know you'll keep us updated on all of this. Thank you, Jeff.